Hey guys, welcome back. If you're wondering, no, I did not get shocked today. I just went for a very fast drive earlier with my friends. So had a good time and um, YOLO. So anyways, you're not here to check out my hair. We're here to talk about today's video, which is continuing education. So today I went to work and we had a continuing education class for my Oregon and Washington licenses. Um, so every three years you have to go through a um, several different things. Um, I'm gonna show you here on the computer screen real quick. Um, so let me just show you. All right, so every three years you have to current, you have to have, um, it, it'll tell you what you need. So it says you need eight hours of code change, CC, and four hours of OL, ORL, which is Oregon Rule and Law. And this is just for Oregon and Washington. So if you don't live in these states, it might be different for you. Um, so it'll tell you like these are random different people up here um, So this person right here above me Jeffrey Lockman He uh, has it tells you you have zero hours zero hours and you need um, Eight hours of this and four hours of that. Um, so I might have already had my organ. I'm not sure It's really confusing kind of how it works because it says my license expires in October But I haven't done any code classes yet. So I don't know why it's saying that I have all these hours, but anyways, I went ahead and took the class. Um, so I'll be good for sure. And um, it was $120. Um, so I think all my um, all my hours should be good now. Um, I'll wait to see. Um, so basically you just go to Google and you type in uh, your state name right here. And then you type in your electrical license lookup. And then um, it should be one of the first or two first one or two options um so right here um it tells you uh, continuing education no continuing education credits have been reported so in the next few days once my instructor um, puts those in and it'll tell me right here um it'll also tell you like if you have any license violations or anything like that past related licenses um so you just um, go back to their website. You can type in your name uh, if you're an electrician right here. And then there's like hundreds of people if they have the same last name as you or same last name um, in their company. Same with Oregon, Oregon Lic License Electrical Lookup, first option. And then you can go back to um, type in your last name and electrical. Um, make sure you're not a robot. And then it'll tell you everything you need, stuff like that. Um, so Right here, here are my old licenses right here. So one from 2014 when I started. Um, I should have had one from, uh, maybe they handwritten the first one from like 2011 or whatnot. But I had one in 2014 um, as my trainee, uh, apprentice, 2014, 2016, and then 2018. And then when I got my journeyman's cards, it turned to green, and then 2019. So the one that I have right now is good till 2022. So hopefully the class that I just took um, is good. It'll add another three years to that till 2025, but I'm not sure, maybe not. So hopefully I didn't just waste $120, but um, I know my Oregon one was expiring because the old one goes to, this one was from 2018. My new one goes to 2021 and it's 2021 now. Um, so it'll expire and I didn't take any classes for it that I remember. So um, at least I'm set for Oregon. And if I didn't get any for the Washington, that's fine. That's I didn't really take the class to do that, really just for the Oregon one, but they kind of reciprocate. So if you take a class for Oregon, it counts for Washington and Oregon. So it's just a bonus, which is nice. Um, so anyways, they used to like put your address on these. So it got the Taco Bell censorship. Um, but anyways, the Oregon one um, has a picture on it and the Washington one doesn't. Um, and it tells you everything you need to know on that. Um, so yeah, good stuff. Just want to give you guys a little update on that. Um, so yeah, every three years you need to get your um, certain things required taken care of, code change, code related, and um, certain rules and laws. Um, and I'll tell you how much you have and stuff like that. So anyways, just want to give you guys a little update on that. Um, and classes vary from like $100 um, and up. And that's for usually for a certain amount of time so i'm not sure if it's a hundred dollars for the whole class to take care of all 24 hours but usually it's around i think 150 to or 100 to 200 dollars um so you can look at different places online that will um you can do some of these online um 
and they will send in your hours for you electronically um, and then you'll be good to go. So once you pass like your classes or whatnot, they might ha have you do like online test. And then once you pass that or get your all your hours required for the class, then they will send it in and then you'll be good to go with all your name and information. So so I'll give you guys a little update on that. Um, so yeah, that is the continuing education information that you might need to know or might not know about. So hopefully that helps you out guys. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it. God bless, have an awesome rest of your day. Didn't do too much today. I was gonna do a video in the garage, but didn't get home until like four o'clock or whatnot. So um, after cruising with my friends. So hopefully you guys had a good day. Um, have a great weekend. Stay safe out there. God bless. Check the description for anything else. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload or do live streams. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It would help out the channel. I'd appreciate it. and love to see you guys back here in the next video. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Stay safe out there. Have an awesome weekend. Bye. All right. So I think I understand this now. Um, so for me right here, it says I need 24 hours. And then it says of those 24 hours, you must have eight of this and four of that, which is 12. And then it says currently I have this, which is the confusing part but i think it means currently you need this um i'm not sure how to quite interpret that but i think it means currently this is what i need eight of this four of that and then 12 of the code related um so i think that's how you understand it so anyways hopefully that helps peace